Hey everyone, Darren here from LD's Pocket Knife. Today I'm just doing a short fixed blade Friday on this knife here. This knife was the first knife that was ever brought for me. It was brought for me by my father as my first hunting knife when I was about 13 years old. Uh, it's a New Zealand made knife. They're relatively inexpensive and he thought as I was a youngster hunting, I'd probably end up losing it, so he didn't want to pay for a good one. Uh, as it happens, 30 odd years later, is probably more treasured than if I had an expensive one, because I still have it and I haven't managed to lose it. Um, the sheath's pretty, pretty beat up. Like I say, I probably use this once a month, once every couple of months for hunting, wear it on a belt. So when I'm sliding and skidding around the hillside, it gets a hard life. It's a Green River is the brand of it. They're New Zealand made since 1927. Has um, high quality carbon steel, which I think is something like a 1075, 1095. Uh, it's full tang, nylon handle, and they're just a general, uh, well-rounded knife for hunting. Very popular here. Uh, there's also some versions. Uh, another manufacturer does stainless steel ones. But for a while, at a, at a time, these were what our uh, meat processing plants used. All our abattoirs, they were, they were a standard sort of butcher's knife. But yeah, just a, just a great little fixed blade knife. Very easy to get an edge on when you're in the in the bush or wherever you may be. Certainly nothing fancy in the sharpening department. Uh, that steel in there brings that edge up real good for most game cleaning. And um, yeah, it's just a great little knife. They offer them in a lot of uh, blade shapes. Have a skinning one as well, but I couldn't locate that at this time. So um, it has it has quite a curved quite a curved style blade um, with a with a different shape on the end of it doesn't quite come to a point but yeah now that's all all we have for for today so hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time